Hey everybody, welcome back to the Goods E-Commerce Insight videos. Today, I'm covering a topic that's important to every single e-commerce manager, shopping cart abandonment. Imagine walking through a grocery store, filling your shopping cart, wheeling up to the checkout line, and then casually strolling out the door, leaving your cart behind full of products. That would be pretty unusual. Yet, when it comes to online shopping, the same behavior is all too common. In fact, cart abandonment rates currently hover around 70%. That means there are more website visitors who browse your store and then leave without buying than those who actually complete their purchase. That's a lot of money left on the table. There are a number of reasons why somebody might abandon their cart. They get lost or confused during the checkout process. They are experiencing sticker shock. They leave to find an alternative product or a better deal. They get distracted by other items, or they don't have the time to complete a long checkout process. As you can see, there are a variety of innocent missteps that can end up making the difference between all pass and let's do this. That's why a close examination of your product pages and the checkout process is a valuable use of your time. But here's the good news. Each of these sticking points is fixable. And with the right tactics, you can drastically reduce cart abandonment, improve your conversion rate, and accelerate your revenue growth. Let's walk through eight of our favorite cart abandonment optimization tactics. Make it clear that the cart has been updated. It's a golden rule of interface design. For every user action, there must be a clear and immediate reaction. In other words, if a shopper clicks add to cart, they should instantly receive visual confirmation that their product has been added to their shopping cart. Strategically display the apply coupon field to reduce cart abandonment. Some retailers put the coupon field in the first page of the checkout process. Others make customers wait until right before they click confirm purchase to apply their discounts. Which approach is more effective? It depends on your pricing and promotion strategy. If you frequently offer coupon codes and your price makes it difficult for customers to calculate their discounts in their minds, place the coupon code at the very end of the process. But if you rarely offer coupon codes, then it wouldn't be wise to design your entire checkout flow around them. After all, you should optimize for the most common use cases, not the edge cases. If you're in this bucket, place the coupon code at the very beginning of your checkout process. This choice comes with its own benefits. Immediately seeing the redemption box creates less anxiety than searching around for it. Now, either way, put that coupon code field behind a text link. Don't present the buyer with an empty coupon code field. This just makes them think they're missing out on something that everyone else is getting. And they'll leave your site to go search for that code, often to never come back. A third strategy to reduce card abandonment is to provide coupon codes on site. When you're about to buy something and you see the apply coupon field, What's your first reaction? This field triggers more consumers, including me, to open up a new tab and search your business name plus coupon. Most of them will come back happy with a discount code in their proverbial pocket, but many will struggle to find an active code and never return. There's mere presence of the empty field for the discount code makes them believe it's out there somewhere and they just can't find it. This leaves them frustrated, annoyed, and diminishes your brand reputation and ramps up your cart abandonment rate. At first glance, this may seem trivial, but the amount of money you're losing from these incomplete transactions can add up very quickly. To avoid having shoppers sucked up by the black hole of Google coupon codes, consider embedding an option for finding coupons near the promo box or just hiding the field. Fourth, consider enhancing your reviews. According to an iPerception study, 63% of people are more likely to buy from a site with user reviews, but most retailers already recognize the importance of product feedback from real customers. You see them everywhere. If you already use reviews to boost sales, it's time to take things one step further by adding some additional context. That includes relevant details about the reviewer, like their photo, age, gender, and other demographic data, along with annotated reviews or verification badges. Customers are much more likely to follow through with their purchase if they're able to see verified reviews from people who share similar characteristics or in similar situations and have had a positive experience 
with your product. Our fifth tip for reducing cart abandonment is to offer free shipping. What is one of the most rewarding elements of shopping in person? Instant gratification. You get to go home with your product right away with no waiting period or additional expense. Amazon is good, but they haven't figured out how to provide instant delivery to online shoppers. So while you can't replicate that aspect of the retail experience, you can overcome price objection by offering free shipping. If you're not convinced, try this on for size. 77% of customers say free shipping is the most important factor in their purchasing decisions. In addition, more than half will purchase additional items to meet the threshold that qualifies them just for free shipping. Now, this isn't just hearsay. A study from Usability Sciences found customers who received free shipping spent on average 20.8% more. Wow. Even though subsidizing shipping costs will eat into your margins, the reduction in cart abandonments and the increase in total average order value will likely make up for it. Number six, whether or not you choose to offer free shipping, be extremely clear about your shipping rates, timelines, and policies. A staggering 56% of customers bail on purchases when presented with unexpected costs. Did you catch that important qualifier? Unexpected costs. If you have a standard shipping rate for all orders, consider displaying it on a banner across the top of your site or placing it in front and center on your product pages. If you have flexible shipping rates based on things like the number of items in the order, the target arrival time, or the purchase date, you should list all of the available options, their cost, and the terms prominently on your checkout page. Number seven is to provide a guest checkout option. In theory, accounts are good for both consumers and retailers. Consumers get personalized experiences, special discounts and offers, easy access to order status, and detailed history of their past purchases. They also get a more convenient checkout experience in the future. Merchants get more customer data, lower customer support volume, more direct relationships with their customers, and usually a higher customer lifetime value. But the people have spoken and they despise brands that force them to register for a new customer account in order to complete their first purchase. In fact, letting people buy without registering can improve your conversions by 45%. And if you're worried that providing a guest checkout option will tank your customer signup rate, don't be. After customers complete the order as a guest, you can still ask if they'd like to save their information for future purchases by creating a customer account and you can ensure that you after you've closed your first sale. The eighth and final shopping cart abandonment strategy for today is to make it easy to set the shipping and the billing addresses the same. Most e-commerce platforms have an off the shelf checkout experience that includes everything but the kitchen sink. You are asking for the recipient name, a street, apartment number, a city, a state, a zip code, a phone, and I could go on. Then you ask the buyer to fill all of that in for the billing address too? Oh, we're also gonna need your credit card number, the expiration date, the authorization code. Would you like expedited shipping? What about one of these complimentary products that we offer? You're gonna love it. Okay, fine. But can we interest you in our email newsletter with new product information and discounts? You can probably see why this experience gets tiresome for your customers, especially when you consider that the average customer makes one third of all their purchases on their phone. Filling out checkout forms is already tedious and on such a small touchscreen, it can be almost impossible if it's not properly designed. To optimize your conversion rate, consider making their billing address the same as their shipping address by default or including a checkbox that says, use shipping address for billing. That takes care of half of the checkout process form. You should also consider incorporating expedited checkout options like Apple Pay, Google Pay, Shop Pay, which they all leverage stored payment and shipping details. And that reduces the checkout process to just one or two clicks. Customers can always edit their information if necessary, and some will, but this design choice will save the vast majority from typing or even autofilling the same content twice. Let's face it, there are more people visiting your site and not buying than there are people making purchases. You'll never be able to convert 100% of your prospects into customers. However, getting somebody to the point where they actively place something in their cart and decide to leave your site instead of completing their purchase 
is something you can influence and it's definitely worth addressing. We've given you a playbook with eight strategies you can implement to reduce cart abandonment. These changes are powerful in isolation, but when you combine them with an experience, you get a compounding effect that can dramatically improve your sales performance. To recap, there are eight of the shopping cart abandonment strategies for your e-commerce brand that you should implement today. The first is make it clear that the cart has been updated. Strategically display the apply coupon field. Provide coupon codes on site. Enhance your reviews. Offer free shipping. Make your shipping costs explicit. Provide guest checkout experience and make it easy to set the shipping and the billing addresses the same. Okay, that's all we've got for now. Make sure to subscribe so you're always the first to know about e-commerce insights. And I'll leave some helpful links in the video description that share even more strategies to reduce shopping cart abandonment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.